Hello and welcome to the sixth day of the Novena of Our Lady of Lourdes. Thursday the 11th of February is the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes and the International World Day of the Sick. Because of the onset of COVID-19 during the past year and the threat that it still poses to our health and to our safety, we're making a very special effort this year to pray the Novena of Our Lady of Lourdes on the nine days before her feast day. And we're doing that to implore her intercession and her protection in this time of global pandemic. So please make sure to ask as many of your friends and your relatives as possible to join in this novena and to start it whenever they can. I will lead it each day on the nine days leading up uh, to the feast day. I'll lead it each day on the Arma de Os in Facebook, on the Arma YouTube page, and also on the Arma Praise website. And so we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mary, Our Lady of Lourdes, you appeared at the grotto of Massabiel to Bernadette, a simple shepherdess. You brought her the radiant light of your smile, the gentle, resplendent brightness of your presence. Day by day, you built a relationship with her, where you gazed at her gently as one person talking to another. We too come before you in our poverty, and we humbly pray to you. May those who doubt discover the joy of trust. May those who despair sense your discreet presence. Mary, Our Lady of Lourdes, You revealed your name to Bernadette by simply saying, I am the Immaculate Conception. May we discover the joy of a forgiveness that never falters. Instill in us the desire for a rediscovered innocence and a joyful holiness. Help the blinded sinner. You who gave birth to the Saviour of the world, look tenderly on our beautiful but tragic world. Open in us the path of hope. Guide us to the one who is the living source, Jesus, your Son, who teaches us to call God our Father. So, as usual, we will now say a decade of the Rosary, and today we're going to say the second joyful mystery, the Visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Well, I'll lead you in a short uh, reflection on the theme of this novena and care for the sick and care for those who are vulnerable. During the pandemic, we have observed the dedication and generosity of healthcare professionals all over the world, and also many frontline workers. They have treated, comforted, and served many sick, elderly, and vulnerable people in our communities. Re reflect for a few moments in silence on what we have learned from the dedication and from the commitment of frontline workers in healthcare and those who are working as well in the wider community. And reflect also on the hope that they bring to all of us for the future of our society and of our world. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. True my fault, true my fault, true my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. We say together our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. So thank you once again for joining me today uh, at this novena. And I'd ask you please to join me again tomorrow for day seven. So please bow your heads now and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God, through the intercession of Our Lady of Lourdes, Always keep every illness and adversity far from you, and in his kindness pour out upon you the gift of his blessing. May you know always and everywhere the protection of Our Lady, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. May you have devotedly, may you who have devotedly prayed this novena carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. And may the blessings of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen.